guys, Brianna Nobles, the witch next door here, and I'm here to tell you how I became a writer. So this is Ember, and she's decided she wants to be part of this too. So if you see her moving around or wanting my attention, now you know why. The question most authors are asked is, how did you get into writing? And most of them are going to tell you that they've been writing since they were little. For me, this is both true and false. See, I was diagnosed with ADHD when I was in kindergarten. I had a learning disability in reading and writing. So what do I decide to become? I decide to become a writer. I actually really liked books. I just couldn't read them on my own until probably I was 12 years old. Going into middle school was when I read my first chapter book, Cover to Cover, and it was Ghost Rider and the Chocolate Bar Bus. Does anybody remember the Ghost Rider books? Sadly, it's out of print now because I would actually like it because I'm sentimental that way. I, I, I did read a lot of stories and my teachers were like, we can't believe that her learning disabilities in reading because, you know, she'll sit there and listen to the books because we had those little headphones we could put on. She'd listen to books all day long if we let her. Because, I mean, I love stories. I wasn't writing the stories down, but I could certainly make them up. I made them up for my siblings, for my cousins. Whenever we were at a babysitter, I came up with things for us to do. Probably when I was about 18, I started getting into role-playing games. I'm not talking D&D &D or even like War of Warcraft sort of things. I was actually doing play-by-post. Like, you know, you'd have your like Yahoo clubs, which later became Yahoo groups. And I would go on there and I would, you know, have a character and we, I would like say something the character did and somebody else would write a few paragraphs back and that's how I got into it. Well, there I met a friend and we're going to call her Maladry. And we became very close. We were both very into writing. And we came up with some very interesting storylines together. And one day she was like, you really need to read this one book series. I really want you to read this one book series. Uh, the author apparently goes to Dragon Con every year, which if you don't know what Dragon Con is, I'll leave a link below. It's a really nice geeky convention here in Atlanta. She's like, well, you really need to read this book. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Because I heard it was romance. And I didn't, I was like, you know, somebody's like, read a romance book. If you're not into romance, you're like, oh, no, no, I don't think so. But I didn't want to be rude. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll read it. If I get the money to buy the book, I'll totally get it. I'll totally get that book. Well, one day I come home and it's getting close to Christmas. So it's at the point where I'm not allowed to order anything online. I come home and there is a Amazon box. I was like, what is this? I didn't order anything. And I open the book, the box up and there's a book inside called Night Pleasures by Sherilyn Kenyon, which was the book she'd been trying to get me to read. So of course I'm like, oh shit. She just sent me a romance novel. What am I supposed to do with this? But you know, she spent her money on it. I knew she didn't have a lot, so I kind of felt obligated to read it. Two days later, I go out and I buy the next two books. It was really good. Uh, if you like vampires, if you like like strong heroines and strong heroes, I highly recommend go and check it out. It made me realize that the romance world was not what it used to be. And I was like, you know what? Some of these storylines we're coming up with, people might actually read them. They're pretty good. At least, well, I thought they were good. It compelled me enough to keep going with them. So I'm like, you know, I wonder, can I be a writer? Because, you know, for me, I loved books. And writers were kind of my rock stars. I had them on this pedestal of this place I could never reach. Yeah, I couldn't reach them. No. So I had them elevated to this on this pedestal that I couldn't reach. So I'm like, could I really do it? Could that be me? Hi, Ember. You wanna say hi to people? No, you just wanna try and lick my face and we don't do that. So I'm driving to work one day and I decide, you know what? I wanna sign. I wanna sign if I should do this or not. And I don't wanna swirling clouds in the sky. Maybe it's a sign, maybe it's not a sign. I wanted a clear cut sign that this is what I should be doing. At work that day, I wear a name tag that had my first and last name on it, and it hung right here. And I had this guy looking at my 
right here. And after a minute, I'm like, can I help you? And he's like, your name. How do you say that? I'm quite used to this question. Brianna Nobles. That's pretty. I like how it looks. I could see that in print someday. Yeah, I could see that on the cover of a book. He just walks away. And I'm like, sign taken! I mean, come on, what were the odds of that? Same day. And so I'm like, okay, sign taken. This is something I should do. I went home. I talked to Maladry. It was something she was interested in doing. Um, right now, we're actually pursuing separate projects, but that is how I actually decided to get into writing. I found Georgia Romance Writers, and uh, things have just kind of gone from there, and I really feel that, you know, my book will get published one day. You just have to finish it. That's the key. You have to finish it. Yeah, that's how I became a writer. So how about you? What do you do for a living? How did you get into it? Is it something you've always known you've wanted to do or did it fall into your lap? Or is there something else you'd rather be pursuing? Let me know in the comments. Bye. Thanks for watching.